Hey, if you haven't been to my channel before, we talk about everything, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, and everything in Denver, Colorado. And today we're gonna to talk about one suburb. What is it? We can find out. Hey, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, and make any comments about what suburbs or areas you're interested in, and I'll make sure I make you a video. We're getting tons of calls and interest about what it's like to live in Denver and um, areas to move to. So if you need to get a hold of me looking to move to Denver, or maybe you're looking to move from one area to another, make sure you get a hold of me call me, text me, get a hold of me however you can. I'm always working and always happy to help you. So let's get started talking about suburbs. So first of all, I wanna talk about Littleton. It's uh, one of the closest suburbs to me, has a lot of nuances about it that I don't think people quite understand, especially when they're looking to move here. Let's get started talking about some of those other top suburbs. So in the South, you've got Littleton, You've got Centennial, Parker, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree. All those are kind of in the south and also Highlands Ranch, which definitely we'll do a video on Highlands Ranch later. But also let's talk a little bit about the suburbs that are to the north. Those are more like Arvada, Superior, Louisville, Loveland, Thornton, Westminster, all those suburbs up there. Littleton is in the south part of the area. The thing that's odd about Littleton is the way it's shaped and I'm gonna pop a map up here. Um, it's not so much about way, the way it's shaped, but how it's laid out. So Littleton has two counties that it's under, which makes it really confusing when people say Littleton, because people say I wanna live in Littleton and it might mean one place versus another that is totally different. So I'm gonna explain that to you here. So if you're talking Littleton, Jeff Jefferson County, you're talking about some of Littleton that's more to the west. And if you're talking about Littleton, Arapahoe County, you're talking about the stuff that's a little bit to the east, but still west. Um, but when you're talking about downtown Littleton, like where the light rail goes, um, where we have great little shops and eateries and stuff, that is actually in Arapahoe County and that is considered a Littleton. So, just a little bit about the location. Let's talk about why it's great to live in Littleton. Number one is the school district. So that's another thing that goes along with these counties is that Littleton's uh, schools are actually rated number six. Now, um, I know it may not seem like number one, but the other three that are on top of that are schools that are up in the mountains that are far, far away, um, plus Boulder. And then you've got Cherry Creek. So other than that, um, those places that are up in the mountains, oh, and Colorado Springs, they're all far away. So it's ranked one of the top in the Denver metro areas for sure, so Littleton Public Schools. Now, if you're looking at Littleton Public Schools, you're gonna wanna look in Arapahoe County because if you're in Jefferson County, then you're in Jefferson County Public Schools and it's a whole different school district. And to make that more confusing is that Centennial uh, overlaps in some of those. So my kids go to Littleton School District, but they are actually in Centennial when they're going to school. So it's quite confusing. And parts of Centennial used to be part of Littleton. So anything I think that's sort of uh, west of university, I still kind of consider as Littleton because you get parts of Centennial that go out pretty far that almost seem like they are, well, they are on the edge of Aurora or very close to Aurora. So you can't just take it by city and say, hey, I wanna live here. It's just not quite that straightforward. So let's move on to uh, having fun and recreation in Littleton. What's great about Littleton is you've got the Mary Greenway Trail, which hits up with the Platte that goes downtown. I know I talked about that in a previous video about pros and cons of living in Denver, so check that out. But um, it'll hook, hook you up with downtown Denver and it'll also go way south um, and it'll go to Chatfield Reservoir, which is another great recreation opportunity um, here in the Littleton area. Um, you know, boating, paddle boarding, lots of fun uh, activities to do there. And like the Carson Nature Center, just kind of things, they have programs for kids to do there. 
and that's really awesome. So um, the other great thing about recreation and things to do is we've got Breckenridge Brewery, which is right down here um, off of Santa Fe. We've got the Alamo Draft House, cool movie theater where you can eat and watch food, at the, or eat and watch food, eat and watch a movie at the same time. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the downtown area, which has tons of little local eateries. It has a little nice little wine bar. I really love and breweries that are in the downtown area itself, along with all the little restaurants. Just went there um, this past weekend for my husband's birthday. Also, there's um, Littleton uh, History Museum that goes back and talks about how all this area used to be farmland and they actually have a little working farm area. Kids can see pigs and um, cows and they have a little blacksmith area and a little working farm where they have people that are dressed in their role and they act like they're living in that time frame. So it's a really cool thing to take the kids to do. Lots of um, parks. And then we've got Hudson Gardens, which is um, a really great place to see concerts concerts there and then they also have um, just beautiful gardens like rose gardens that you can just walk through there's lots of weddings that happen there um, or events that happen there it's a really great place so back to schools also we've got Arapaho Community College if you're moving to Denver and maybe you're gonna go to a bigger school later you want to start somewhere else you can always start Arapaho Community College let's talk about transportation so if you're living right in downtown Littleton, you've got, um, you know, that's right near where Arapahoe Community College is. You've got the light rail that goes to downtown and you are able to kind of walk that downtown area and take the light rail. But for the most part, if you're living out in the out parts of Littleton, you're gonna be driving your car most of the time to get to all those little um, suburb stores and things like that, unless you're right in the downtown area. Take that into consideration if you're thinking about moving to Littleton. Well, that could be a drawback to some people if they don't you know, want to um, be driving all the time. Now, let's also talk about cost. So housing is just a little bit higher, as you can see, than it is in Denver. The um, median home price here in Littleton, Colorado is 478,000. And that's um, numbers from August. But again, it just really depends on what pocket you live in. Cause there's the um, kind of the older part of Littleton. There's newer parts of Littleton that are way out west that have pretty big houses, you know, that are um, up against the foothills. Those are gonna be more expensive. And then you've got some houses that are kind of in between that downtown area and those more expensive homes that are up against the foothills. And those tend to be a little less and they are gonna be in that um, Jefferson County area. So just also keep that in mind if you're moving to the Littleton area. But for the most part, Littleton's a super family friendly place and lots to do without having to be right downtown, but you are close enough if you need to commute downtown, you can easily do that or go um, hang out downtown. So. We're gonna check out lots of other suburbs, so check out those videos. And also, if you're thinking about Denver, wanna know cost of living in Denver, check out those videos. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.